Well, good Tuesday morning, everybody. It is July 20th, 2021. Um, last night, we got done with our second night of Vacation Bible School. So before we start the devotion, I'll put a plug in for Bi Vacation Bible School. If you've got a little one, even though you haven't gotten them up here for the first two nights of EBS, um, bring them on up tonight to uh, Woodlawn and uh, uh, let them be part of the fun. Uh, 6 o'clock to 8.15 is when we've got the little ones. goes through Thursday, so we've got, still got three more nights tonight, tomorrow, and the next. So, at any rate, um, we are in the final chapter of the book of Acts. We're in Acts chapter 28. And today we're just going to look at 7 to 10. So we're just going to take a little nibble today. And this is really a continuation of where we were at yesterday. Remember yesterday, well, finally Paul's, they've gotten ashore, they've, the, the ship is wrecked, they've mm -hmm. lost the cargo, but nobody's died. They have 276 souls that managed to survive this shipwreck that Paul is on. And they are on the island. And yesterday the, the, the islanders were showing them kindness and warming them by the fire, and Paul was helping to... Uh, apparently to gather up some firewood and out of the fire a snake came and bit Paul on the hand and he shook it off and suffered no ill effect uh, which uh, initially the islanders when he got bitten thought he must be some terribly evil man and then when he didn't uh, suffer any ill effect from this viper uh, they decided that he must be some form of a god uh, so and remember that I talked about yesterday that the hand, that that was significant. They got bit on the hand, because uh, in the Hebrew, the hand is what does the work. And so we talk about the hands and feet of God, and I talked about that yesterday. So bear that in mind for the, the verses we're looking at today, these, these four verses. So with that, let's look at 7 through 10. 7, 8, 9, and 10. <clears throat> now in the neighborhood of that place were lands belonging to the leading man of the island named Publius who received us and entertained us hospitably for three days. It so happened that the father of Publius lay sick in bed with fever and dysteria. Paul visited him and cured him by praying and putting his hands on him. After this happened, the rest of the people of, on the island who had diseases also came and were cured. They bestowed many honors on us, and when we were about to sail, they put on board all the provisions we needed. Okay. <clears throat> Um, this Publius fellow uh, received them, and it doesn't really, it's not clear whether he took in all 276 of the, the shipwrecked folks, uh, or he's just taking in Paul, and maybe the, the guards that are with Paul, and, or, and Paul's traveling companions, we don't know. It doesn't really matter, to be honest to me, other, other than if he took in all 276, this guy must have had a massive estate. This guy must have had a great deal of wealth uh, to be able to help them all. But he's showing them hospitality, uh, taking care of them, and that's what that means there. Uh, he is taking care of them, um, providing them shelter and everything else that they need at the time they're there. Um, and Paul's, or this Publius's father, is ill. Um, now, remember, we just talked about, and we talked about yesterday, the hand doing the work. And remember, yesterday we talked about the serpent, you know, the representing, uh, whether you want to look at it as Satan, or you want to look at it as just the world coming against us. We're trying to do the work of God. However you want to be are comfortable with that, I don't care. It works both ways. But one of the things you'll notice in life is when you start doing good, they start coming up against you. The world, Satan, doesn't want you to do good in this world. doesn't want you to be pr productive for God. So he's going to put things in the way. You're going to have things come up in the way. Uh, but the snake was dismissed. And that hand that got bitten, that hand that does the work, remember? Um, that hand, now it says that he Paul cured him by praying and putting his hands on him. So the hands are here are the mechanism for the work of God. He's laying hands on him, and that's what's curing him. It's, so again, the same hand that was trying to be struck down yesterday um, to be confronted has prevailed. God will always prevail. That's the message here. And it will prevail in a huge way if we just have patience and faith. And because here, not only is Publius's father healed, but many people come from around the island. Let's say, hear this. And we have to believe that, that many, if not uh, the majority of these folks, were brought to Christ. Because Paul's not just healing, he's teaching and preaching. Because Paul's really more of a preacher and a teacher than he's ever been a healer. 
okay? Um, I would guess that we could look at Peter more as a healer um, than we would look at Paul as being a healer. Uh, but Paul is doing both here. He's healing and he's teaching. And so he's bringing people to Christ. And praise be to God that out of, you know, even though the, the, the world or Satan tried to stand against him, he has prevailed in a big way. And in fact, it has helped him and those traveling. It's, it's even a witness to those traveling with him because they have been, their provisions have been restored. Doesn't tell us about the boat because the boat we were led to believe was destroyed, you know, on the shore of Malta. Um, at least that's the way I read it. Um, so we don't know what they're, they're getting on a different ship or did these the people from Malta haul the ship in somehow and patch it back up? I don't know. But they have placed on whatever ship they are taking out of there all the provisions they need for the trip that they're now embarking on to get Paul to Rome the rest of the way. So there's where we're at today. I'm going to cut it off there and we will pick up at verse 11 tomorrow. And again, I will put in another shameless plug for the Vacation Bible School. If you have somebody in around the Lake City area that's a little one, uh, bring them on up. We'd love to have them here and we'd love to teach them about Jesus. God bless you and be a blessing to someone today. See you in the morning. Bye-bye.